welcome to American Baker in Germany, where the ingredients are German and the baker is American. I'm Michelle, and today we are making a recipe for French buttercream. So let's think about it. So far on this channel, I have made recipes for Swiss meringue buttercream, for American buttercream, for Italian meringue buttercream, and for German buttercream. <laughs> Uh, so apparently we're making our way around the world and today we're making French buttercream. French buttercream is egg yolk based buttercream as opposed to Italian and Swiss which are egg white based buttercream. So this one is much richer, has a much heavier flavor, and uh, but it's also not terribly sweet. I got this particular recipe from a YouTuber friend of mine who is amazing. Her name is Cakes with Lorelei, so take a look at her channel if you haven't yet. She does an amazing job. So this is her recipe for French buttercream. I will link it down below where to see the original video. So let's get started. We start out with our ingredients. We need two cups or 500 grams of butter, one generous cup or 220 grams of sugar, a quarter teaspoon cream of tartar, which is optional, a half a cup or 110 milliliters of water, eight egg yolks, one teaspoon vanilla extract or one tablespoon vanilla sugar, a pinch of salt. In a small saucepan, combine sugar, cream of tartar, and water. Heat it over medium heat until it comes to a good rolling boil. Allow to boil for five minutes. Set a timer to make sure the time is right. While that is coming to temperature, separate your eggs and place the egg yolks into the bowl of your stand mixer. Yes, you do need a stand mixer for this recipe because you could easily burn yourself if you don't have one. So if you don't have a stand mixer, I would suggest trying Swiss meringue buttercream, which doesn't require a stand mixer. Beat the egg yolks until they begin to lighten. Turn the mixer down to low and slowly pour the still hot sugar syrup into the egg yolks. This is the step you need the stand mixer for. At this point the mixture will be very hot and you can feel the heat through the bowl. Allow the mixer to beat the mixture until it comes to room temperature and turns completely white and ribbons off the beater. This will take 15 to 20 minutes.
Once you have reached room temperature, add the room temperature butter a little at a time on low speed. Allow to beat until mixture comes to buttercream consistency. Make sure all the butter is incorporated and there are no chunks stuck to the bottom or sides of your bowl. Add vanilla and salt at the end. This buttercream is smooth as silk. It doesn't even have the air bubbles that the two meringue buttercreams have, and it is less sweet than the meringue buttercreams as well. I would say it's closer to German buttercream in sweetness, but this one is safe under fondant. I hope you enjoyed the recipe today. For more recipes and tutorials, visit our website at AmericanBakerInGermany.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Subscribe for more recipes.